Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Rob with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to Reassembly Season 6, Episode 6, and the Necrotic Space Arachnoids! <laughs> we are evolving and becoming quite strong, and some of our designs are actually really unique and interesting, and I'm really enjoying the set that we have. And today, well, it is Thursday, therefore it is late in the week, and it is also late in the day for me, so I figured, rather than doing a massive build, because I just don't have the time for that, I figured today we're going to do something we don't do often enough we are going to actually go on the offensive and do some serious combat because we own such a small sliver of the known galaxy we need to actually open this up for ourselves and of course take care of some of these agents that are lurking beyond too and you see these wormholes we need to open up access to these wormholes so that we can in the future go on the offensive and attack the insectoids at their core <laughs> after all that is our ultimate purpose and design is it not so today um, we're maybe going to make just a couple modifications to Lolth here so that Lolth actually has some decent combat speed maybe add a couple more primary weapons or actually even better some fighters I think would be a really good idea now Lolth still has a long way to go honestly Lolth is a very slow cumbersome uh, basically our collector and really is not all that useful in combat I mean we have some basic frontal weapons and we have this uh, the the hairs on the back of her legs shoot off and of course causes damage to both friend and foe <laughs> um, but aside from that really not great for offensive or defensive capabilities so we're gonna maybe make a couple quick super quick modifications to Lulth so that she will be combat effective enough today to be able to go on kind of a little mini rampage. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna make some modifications. Be back. Alright, just to clarify, once again, the goal was to go in and make a small refit to Loth. Um, unfortunately, I love this game and I loves building. I loves it so much. I must build. <laughs> but look at it. Loth, she begins to live. She breathes. And she looks magnificent already. I'm actually quite impressed. I love the eyelets. Oh, isn't that great? So that was achieved using the tractor beam. Ah, totally impractical, impractical to have that many tractor beams. Except that does add to the R capacity of the ship. So perhaps not, actually. That does actually do something for the ship now um Lolth in case you are unaware Lolth is a drider in mythology Lolth is a drider and a drider is kind of like is kind of like a, a body with three large sections and the the top half kind of like ah what's what's a good example so the bottom half is a spider and the top half is a human so technically they have eight legs on the drider half but on the human half 
they can have, or I've seen her have as many as six upper arms. So I figured let's go with four for now because that gives us still some room to grow because this is, this definitely isn't Lulz's final form because we are only using, this ship is only 200, eh, 2,228p. Like she's still quite small. I, I can't believe we still only have access to 2,221p, but yeah. So I don't know, long way to go, but I, I really like this far better than what Loth was. Loth looked kind of dumb before. So now she He's really starting to take shape. I think we need to add a little bit more flavor and color on the inside here to maybe give it a little bit of a design and maybe even make her longer and give her a larger head, maybe another couple arms, and of course, a lot of babies. Little spiderlings that will launch from various locations on her body. But I think for now, she's pretty good. I, is she more armed than what she is? what she was? No, her, her armament is different now. She does have lots of point defense. She now has massive shield systems. <laughs> Multiple shield systems. Three shield systems in the front here. Two in the back to guard the abdomen. And uh, then we have the magnificent, the holy... Uh, what is this like seven seven quantum doom beams right down the center for her death strike. And the two little arms to kind of pin the enemy to the ground, and then give them the death strike and suck their fluids from the bodies. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so enough talk. Let's get to work here. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, like I said, the, the intention was only to spend a few minutes. Oh, actually, uh, before we go any further, we do need to upgrade our P limit. Yeah, just, uh, just once for now. That's fine. So let's see what she looks like. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, like, I, there was no intention of actually building Loth right now. Like, actually really, really thinking about the build, but we just scrapped everything and started over. And here we are. <laughs> I think, I think I just, I love this game. I just, you know, this is why it takes so long to come out with my episodes. Because I'm like, oh, but if I get in there, I'm going to start building and it's going to be three hours. And that's it. Typically, it's three hours to actually do the content of an episode. And that's before we even start, you know building the see oh i love how i did the legs so yeah i did this intentionally the legs i wanted to make them really jagged and sharp looking so i think we've accomplished that that looks really good i spent so much time trying to make things look good and yes it is a very heavy ship but look at how well we are moving already i'm, I'm not turning very well yet because I, di I didn't have enough points to put any good maneuvering thrusters in wow she takes a long time to build though <laughs> Um, I didn't have enough uh, points to put enough any any good maneuvering thrusters in like to be able to turn really well But yeah, look at that. That's really nice So yeah, you use the basic maneuvering thruster and you add one of those uh, high impulse thrusters on the on the tip of of the uh, Of a string of other thrusters and it just it makes them all high high impact high high impulse Yes, so magnificent really great and so it may not look like much but that is seven quantum doom beams firing all at once. Now, if I am able to actually capture the enemy in those beams, it will utterly destroy anything we target. I guarantee it. That is just the most vicious. And we may, hold on, maybe in the, maybe in the future we may add more. So, I don't know. And then as an alternate weapon, we, of course, we have the point of fence. But, I mean, we don't have any control of that. Yeah, we don't have any hairs on our legs or anything this time. Yeah, she doesn't, she really wants to go. I really like those high impulse thrusters okay so next things next thing we need to do is to uh right we've already got some stuff in our queue here so let's start producing some ships to travel with us and we're gonna go on a rampage it's time my friends it's time to destroy them destroy them all and actually what we should do is actually collect some more goodies from from friendlies here so we'll just do a little bit of a you know, a little bit of a farm so this is how the b faction or faction Faction six, yeah. I sometimes sometimes I forget what faction. I have no reversing engines. Oh no! I cannot reverse. Like I do not have any at all. Ooh, that's maybe not good. Although I'm pretty good at pushing things out of the way, apparently. <laughs> Fantastic. So yeah, and I don't turn well either. But yeah, as the B faction, faction six, uh, their buildings produce income, so they have the solar panels on the buildings. So basically, every once in a while, you just go collect goodies uh oh we are maxed out already wow we need more eyes yeah i think in the future we will definitely put more eyes and actually let's do a quick one quick thing to this ship before we go any further we need to put uh, just a couple reversing engines so i think you know and if we place them if we place them lower or either either in the back or the front will help with our maneuvering too as well so that's kind of a key tip for anybody that's building a ship always uh you know 
you got to look at your center of gravity. If I, if I place the engines here, it's it's going to be really good for strafing, but not really good for... Uh, well, it'll be good for acceleration and deceleration, but not as good for maneuvering. Uh, you want to put your, your, your maneuvering thrusters sort of on the back corners and the front corners. Therefore, you will maneuver far better. All right, so uh, we'll put a couple, couple here. Oops. Mm, okay, hold on. Let's do this properly. <laughs> ah, so much fun. Oh, I, I love this game so much. I love it. And yeah, we, we have just enough points to add a few decent maneuvering thrusters. Uh, and reverse engines so that if we do get trapped, which we probably will because I'm a terrible driver. <laughs> Awful driver. Ooh, actually, right in here would be really nice. Oh, but that doesn't really help us for reversing. Yeah, so we'll do another one right there. There, that, that, that should be more than adequate to keep this thing uh, maneuvering properly in the thick of things. I'm actually, th I'm so excited for this ship. The future of this ship is going to be really great. Again, it's smaller than I expected, but it's not, certainly not as small as some of my ships. So um, after I'm done, you know, sometimes I'm like, wow, that's going to be huge. And it's not. But this one is, is certainly bigger and it is maneuvering quite well. Oh, and it looks so good. We need more eyes, though. More eyes so that we can carry more goodies. Okay, so let's, uh, ah should be able to reverse in a second as soon as they build those engines. There we go, and let's just test our reversing engines. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad, but better than what we were. And we should be able to maneuver just a little bit better because of those front engines that we placed on there too. Perfect. All right, so now we have, uh, we've we've hatched a few spiderlings to travel with us. We need, we need more, whoops, uh, wrong one. I'm changing my controls for some reason. Okay, and a couple more. Yeah, the uh, DS... Uh, no, hold on. I need to remember the names of my ships. That's a problem with having my, my episodes so far apart. So, the Salties, uh, the Ticklers, and the Recluses. That's what we're going to be traveling with. And maybe we should... Uh, no, I want I want lots of Salties, because I think the Salties are going to be sort of the driving force behind this little fleet. Ooh. And it's The Recluse is like 2,000 points to build. It's quite big. So, and I want a couple more here. Just uh, let's... Do a little bit more harvesting. I think we got all the stuff here. And another thing, another thing that's super nice about having all those eyes is, of course, they are in fact tractor beams, <laughs> which will allow us to gather resources at a distance, a little bit more of a distance than what you usually are able to. And that's really handy when you're using these big ships in these in these really jagged building areas. Although, you know, I, I'm hoping that someday. Whoops, uh, reversing engines. Uh, okay, there we go. Perfect. It do, it's a little chunky, like it's 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 a little rough, and that will improve once we get the rest of our engines on. But right now, uh, it does have enough power to just push all these buildings right out of the way, which is fantastic. We are actually full up. Um, oh, there we go. Yes, perfect. Um, I keep forgetting we have a very small reserve here, so we will fix that in time. Okay, so that's lots of ships. Let's just make sure that everybody's coming with me after traveling through all of those buildings and stuff there's a pretty high probability that we lost everyone <laughs> that's gonna take them a while to catch up come on guys let's go we're gonna go uh oh look at that chew look at that oh my god that's great zap <laughs> i have you now okay let's go eat some agents oh brilliant uh, we need just a little bit more r and we can have uh oh wait oh it's because uh, a couple of our eyes fell off that's why <laughs> you know, maybe we should just add a couple more eyes. No, 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 not right now. Let's go. Let's go do some damage. Let's go take some stations and ooh, beat up some bad guys. That sounds like a really great idea. Now, I only have one, basically one weapon on the ship, but I have an, a fleet at my back. That's where the advantage lies, right? Whoops. I keep hitting the R instead of the F. I want, I want cursor rotate ship. There we go. Fantastic. Okay. Actually, just one second. Okay, let's grab this station over here, and then we will go destroy that agent that's just in uh, north of us. Hopefully, maybe. <laughs> oh wow, these are all Borg! I didn't realize these were all Borg. Whoops! <laughs> wow, look at all those fighters. Um, we do have some fighter defense, but I don't know if we have enough here. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. I just saw, I just saw the buildings. I should have been paying attention. I didn't realize it was Borg ships here. So uh, yeah, we only, we don't have any fighters, but our friendlies have fighters, and it looks like they are chewing them up a little bit. I don't know if that's enough, though. Like, the, the buildings themselves do contain, uh, like, the Borg buildings have fighters, and it's it's hard to tell where the... Oh, and obliterators, it looks like. Some kind of laser weapon as well in there, too. 
Oh, fantastic. Oh, I love it. Oh, look at him. Oh, man. Okay. Let's launch another ship here. And, yeah, we need to take out these guys. This is incredible. Uh, I, yeah, the Borg, they're kind of like they're kind of like the arch enemy to uh, Faction faction 6. And I'd love to play the Borg. And I know there's mods that you could play the Borg. But I, I, the reason I like them so much is you can't tell where those fighters are coming from. At least at a glance. Like, in a fast-paced battle like this. But they, they, they seem to be having a serious trouble getting through the shields on this ship. The shields are magnificent. Like, we are pretty much impenetrable, which is great. At first, I was kind of panicked, but I'm like, all right, shields. Yeah, those fighters are going to have a heck of a time getting through those. <laughs> Look at this. And it would just eat it. Look at that. Just cut right through. Oh, that's so great. So great. <laughs> and, oh, well, we must be just collecting a ton of money here. Um, actually, we're not, because i got to keep hitting the F button. There we go. Yeah, we'll just waste all these guys, grab all the C, or all the R, and then uh, buy improve, improve the size of our fleet. We're up to, what, 10 ships? Yes. I'd like to have, I don't know, 25 ships sort of traveling with me. Anything more than that, I think, is going to be too much. Oh, look at Big Borg ship. Look at They've got little obliterators on there or something. It's fantastic. Okay, we need just a little bit more money, and then we can get another big recluse. <laughs> I think it's a recluse that... Turn, 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 turn. I think it's a recluse that costs a 2,000, because it is certainly the most intricate of all the ships we have. Maybe... I, I'm pretty sure it's the most expensive, too. Look at this. Oh, I love it. Oh, brilliant. You, 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 these guys just don't stand a chance. Okay, we are very close to the agent. Very, very close. Oh, we're so close to getting that last little bit of income here, too. Oh, look at all these board ships. All the fighters. <laughs> okay, so we need to prepare for the agent, guys. Stop messing around here. Oh, is that, a, is that one of them? That might be one of the agents. Yes, Bearded Dragon by Zero Kamikaze. Ha 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 ha. Is he dead already? No, he's not dead. One. Ah, look at this. He's got him in the laser. Yeah. Oh, wow. Is he still alive? Oh, no. That's one of my guys. <laughs> I captured one of my own guys. Get him, boys. Ah, oh, fantastic. Eat them alive. Yes, we have destroyed them. <laughs> we are becoming strong. Very, very strong. Ooh, we should almost build another one of me. <laughs> another beautiful, magnificent Lolf. Although, um, we are a territorial creature, and I can't imagine that Lolf would, would probably want to be uh, sharing territory with herself, because, I mean, most spiders are not very good at sharing. <laughs> In general, they're just, they're, they're not a very sharing creature, but look at this. The swarm! The swarm! <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. And we're and I just keep launching ships. I we have lost a couple, but nothing that substantial. Okay, the fighting the Borg is a blast. Although turning in some of these tight spaces is a little challenging, but you know, with those shields on the ship, uh they are going down on occasion, but with the shields on the ship, we're actually we're doing quite okay. And look at all those lasers, all those pink death rays. So nice. Eat them, eat them, my pretties. <laughs> I think just about every every reassembly series I do, I end up using the, the phrase, my pretties, because I can't help it. It's just so fitting. So fitting. Ah, oh, that was delicious. Ah, nothing like eating an entire race. <laughs> Ooh, look. One of the leftovers from Zero Kamikaze. That's no good. Unacceptable. Eat him. Divine. <laughs> Let's go capture the station up here. Oh, this is what I needed today, guys. I needed to just... Oh, yes. These... Actually, I am pretty pleased with the necrotic space arachnids. The arachnoids, I mean. I'm really pleased with them. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. Excellent. And just launch another ship. All right. Let's capture this station. Oh! This is a station? This is no station. This is, this is an older loth. That's interesting. That is an older loaf. And he... D interesting. I don't know if I've ever, see ever seen that before. Oh, that's cool. So that's an older version of loaf. As a matter of fact, in our queue, let's just take a look at something. So we do... I was messing around with trying to figure out what to do with... How to build some legs for some different types of, of spiders. And uh, yeah, I'm just... I'm leaving this one. Uh, I know we're going to end up with some in the universe, but I, I have some ideas for leg designs for something else. So <laughs> if we happen to see something with funny legs, you know why. All right, so let's head back out. Let's actually head to Ward. 
one of the wormholes so that we can exert our dominance in that area and maybe get some some stations captured. The key right now, I think, is getting the, the agents under control, because once the agents are under control, like, really, the galaxy will be ours. Are these guys all alive? Sometimes you can't even tell. They just look like, you know, debris. <laughs> debris. Debris just lying around. Eat them! <laughs> I love it when the swarm shows up. They're like, yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, 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 yum. All right. Ooh, look at all this. Look at all these plants. Plants. Hmm. Always suspicious when there's nothing around one of these plants. Or when, when there's nothing around one of the stations or one of the capture points. Oh, look, another Lulth. Oh, and see, he's got the funny leg on the back. <laughs> okay, go backwards. Go in reverse. Oh, uh oh, I think I'm stuck. Yep, I am stuck. I need help. Friends, help me. Oh, there we go. We're free. I got to turn, though. Ah, the reds. The reds don't stand a chance, especially when we have shields. <laughs> of course, all of my minions do not have do not have shields, but that doesn't matter as long as I have shields. <laughs> Look at that! Just one pass completely obliterate the one side of the ship. Oh, delicious! The reds are delicious! I love them! Um, dude, you got a leg growing out of your back there. Sorry. <laughs> kind of awkward. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. You know, the ship, I mean, of course it'll, it'll, it'll operate better, I think, with a couple fighters, but I don't think we need to focus on fighters on this ship. This is a capital ship with a capital weapon, and I think maybe even adding more of the central lasers, um, more of the quantum doom beams, the big pink beams of death, my little fangs, I think adding more of those just to make this more of a, a frontal attack weapon, like a big major, you know, ultimate capital weapon. Okay, oh, we got kind of turned around here. Oh, kill him! Kill him. Yeah, these guys don't stand a chance. Look at that. Oh, devour! Beautiful! <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, let's go back. Um, no, I don't want to trade. I want to build more ships. That's what I want to do. And kill some reds. Mmm, yummy. You know, it's... I spend... Uh-oh, we're out of shields. I spend so little time in this game actually playing the game sometimes, I forget how fun it can be. The top-down shooter element to this game is actually quite entertaining. It's it's rather enjoyable, and I and I really should be spending more time doing it because it's it's really fun. But I I, I have to admit, reassembly the 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 thing that is most attractive about reassembly, and I think most people would agree, is the ability to build the most magnificent and unique objects that are so beautiful and just I, everything is I, I just I, I love that part of the game. I, there's it's there's no limit. The only limit is your imagination. Look at this, some of our webs. I'm so disappointed in our webs. I mean, it's good. I like the webs, but it's it's far smaller than I was hoping for. And maybe maybe I'll maybe I'll make some changes to it at some point. But yeah, it looks like this area is actually we've got the right stuff in this area. We've got the little pitchforks, which are great. The reason I like the pitchforks so much is because when it comes to harvesting. It'll be super easy to collect a ton of resources from these guys because there'll be so many of them and they'll be, you know, kind of easy to navigate around, relatively speaking. So I think that's that'll be really great. Okay, so let's build. Oh, not enough. Okay, so let's go get another. Oh, there's another agent coming up, guys. So yeah, this is called the agent. The agent slaughter of 2016. <laughs> let's take over this station. Oh, this is going to be... It's going to be a web, which is... Cool, except, uh oh, no, no, I don't want to take it with me. No, 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 let's, I wish, yeah. After all the trouble we had trying to mount these things onto uh, structures, is it is it even gonna build out in the middle of nowhere like this? I don't know. I don't know if it will. I think it needs to be attached to something, I think, in order to build, because that root piece is what gives it kind of the, the power and makes it solid, I think. Uh, without that attached to something, I don't think it's actually going to finish building itself. But whatever. Okay, we should be really close to an agent. There should be one really close. And we are actually running lower on ships. I think I think I'm just running away from my own ships, maybe. I don't know. Where is he? There he is. Agent. Ah, eat them. Oh, these guys are interesting. So, what are they? They're sh Who is it? It's Shieldfish by Valf. I that name sounds familiar. We may have actually uh, met Wolf at one point. So this is the leader right here. So, <laughs> and this will stop him from multiplying. I think he kind of got chewed up a little bit from the, uh, from the fighters. Ha ha ha! Another agent goes down. <laughs> ah, we are dominating the universe, guys. This is it. This is where we start to break free. We are, 
opening up the uh, the cocoon and we're coming out a newly formed, more dangerous creature. Oh, I loves it. Oh, except I can't drive. <laughs> uh, you don't need to be able to drive when you're becoming as powerful as we are. Oh, look, something to chew on. Whoops, I kind of missed him. Wow, he's got a lot. Of, I bumped him. He was kind of like a spider. You know, you bumped him. And I bumped him and all of those little uh, bugs came, or all the little spiderlings came flying out. But yeah, they don't last very long under that primary gun. And notice I put all the primary, I separated all the guns by some good armor too as well. So that if one goes down, they all go don't go down. Another one of these. Interesting. So this is great. This is super awesome. The nice thing about these things, if they ever do build, uh, these little web things. Oh, I'm just curious if he will actually build. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't. Yeah, it looks like he's he's still launching fighters, so that's a good thing. I can take him with us as our own personal spider web. <gasps> that's a brilliant idea. So let's see. We let's see if we can kind of hook onto him here. Uh, that might be kind of tricky. <laughs> Ah, that's great. That way I kind of have a barrier with some some fighter, fighters. Uh, that way I have some fighters that we can use. There we go. Perfect. And if we want, we could actually do some trading too, but I don't think that's necessary. Oh, look! Ah, Faction 4. Ah, it didn't take very long to destroy him now, did it? Oh, he's still alive. Not for long, my friend! I have you now! Ha ha ha! Ah, victory is ours! Ah, one more. Reds. Mm, they're like jelly beans. Well, they're juicy, actually. They're red like blood. And we are spiders, so that kind of fits. Yeah, that reminds me. Um, uh, There are many people that are are coming in on our, I think our last episode, or maybe the episode previous, where I had some spiders kind of set up to jump scare you. <laughs> I think I had one in the intro and one, and then I had one in a in a little baby cart and another. And uh, I've had a couple people come back and say, I have arachnophobia, and that is not nice, and I don't like you. <laughs> Maybe not in those words, but that's the impression I get. And if that's, you know, mission accomplished on my part. <laughs> um, because arachnophobia, I kind of, that's why I pick things like this. Because they're creepy and eerie and, you know, bug-like. And a lot of people get freaked out by spiders. And I don't know. Oh, Faction 4, modular guns. Does he have modular gun on that? Yes, he does. But he is now lunch. Lunch. Uh, we are completely wiping these guys out. But we have lost... A huge amount of ships actually we are down to four but I think we're just leaving them behind like I don't think I think we're just out running them more than anything else oh fantastic oh very nice <laughs> um so yes if we can just walk into faction four territory like this and crush them I'm feeling pretty confident now I do have one major one more major build beyond uh, making some more modifications to Loth so that she is the full 8,000 P I oh liberated Loth the spider queen 200. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Liberated Lolf. Somebody liberated Lolf? <laughs> that's that's interesting. So, yeah, I have one more major build, and that'll be the Huntsman Spider. And the Huntsman Spider will also be a, a heavy capital ship with, with uh, you know, there's not a lot of weapons to choose from in this, in this particular uh, faction. I mean, we have the Quantum Doom Beams. We have our point defense guns. We have the, the mines, and we have the fighters. That's it. So... I'm going to make, uh, we don't have a lot of choices for capital weapons. We have the quantum doom beams. That's basically our own, ca our only capital weapon. And uh, so the huntsman spider, which is a non, I mean, it's a poisonous spider, but not as poisonous as some. It's a huge spider. The thing about the huntsman spider is they, their fangs are as big as your fingers. Like they're huge. So I think it'll be another great candidate for a uh, direct fire a direct fire ship, like a ship with huge fangs. But we'll, we'll, of course, it'll look like a Huntsman Spider. And it'll be slightly different. And it'll probably be in the round, in the two to 3,000 P range, whereas Loth will end up being 8,000 P. <laughs> this is just an intermediary, inter, intermediary stage for Loth, right? Okay, uh, let's take a look at the map. Wow, <laughs> we kind of took a little walk. Let's head back here. And what we're going to do is we're going to start heading in towards the core of the galaxy where all of the the really heated action is. And maybe we'll run into some crystalline faction too and see how well we do against crystalline. Although I don't suspect we will do very well because of the missiles. And I, I mean, our ships move fairly well and we do have some point defense. And maybe maybe the point defense we, we will have will be good enough to be able to deal with. Uh, the larger missiles, the large slow mi slow missiles, but I don't know, our point defense in Faction 6 is not fantastic. I mean, they're very slow firing and the turn rate, 
on the oh yeah we lost all of our ships or they just got eaten i don't think they got eaten i think we just lost them <laughs> we just got out of range and they're yeah that's it okay so we're gonna head back and maybe get to uh, you know what I, I i'm pretty happy with this i did spend a lot of time doing this build it's late already for me and i do have to work tomorrow so maybe i'm gonna call this an episode today because i think we uh, oh believe it or not we did a lot and i'm actually stuck so hold on let's uh i always like to escape Daddy Short Legs to the rescue! Let's go into the center of the galaxy. Oh, actually, before we do that. Whoa! That's a big red guy. Look, we're under attack! Ah! Transformers. Hold on. <laughs> I'm such a nerd. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh, wow. This is going to take a really long time to become Lolf again. Hey, look, we found one of our spiders. <laughs> One of our recluse spiders. Um, he we just we happened to be coming back here, and he found us. Actually, that's great. So yeah, I'd say we probably just lost everybody on the on the path there. My bad. I sometimes get really excited and start traveling really fast in the same direction. I think the recluses are probably the best ship to keep. Whoa! What just happened? Did he just change shape on his own? He's choosing a different form. I had no idea they could do that. What? I had no idea that ships could change form. Like like an AI ship could change form. I had no idea. That's nuts. This, that must be new or it's something I just I've never experienced before. Wow, incredible. So these webs, yeah, I get caught in these webs, man. <laughs> Crazy, crazy! Oh, fantastic! Oh, I just want to play. I want to play and destroy things. But where's that? The big red, the big red guy. Let's. Uh, I don't know. I love that in passing we can just nearly obliterate one of them. Those main weapons. I mean, they're vicious. Even against those faction four guys with shields, and these guys just don't stand a chance. I want one more big fight. One more big fight, and we'll probably lose. Oh, let's build another guy. Might as well, right? Um, I should be just letting him go, because if I let these guys go, in other words, if I go tab and let him go, I get that, I get those points back, right? So, and I'm going to probably lose him anyway. Oh, except this Lolth is keeping up with us, his older version of Lolth. Lolth version, what is that, 1.5? <laughs> Something like that. Ah, yummy! <laughs> Fantastic! So, I'm, I'm thinking we'll call this episode the, the Mighty Rampage through the center of the galaxy. Not quite the center. We didn't quite make it to the center. Um, but I think skirting the galaxy, destroying two, if not three agents, is pretty good. It's a good day's work, I think. That, yeah, Loth, he's keeping up with me now. He's, I'm actually, ooh. Wait a tick. That's Archaeopteryx! What? Hold on, no, don't kill him yet. He's, I know of him. I've heard of him. That is from, what is that, our last season, season five. I had to destroy him. He does have melee armor, don't ram them. Jeez, that's a bad idea. Wow, he's tough actually. He took a lot of hits. A lot more than I expected. Hmm. So we have some of our uh, faction, or season five ships. That's cool, from faction seven, our dino, uh, what, a, I don't even remember the name of the race. Uh, they were the Velosa, Velociraptors or something. I don't remember. But yeah, that's super cool. Okay, guys, I've played long enough. It's it's super late here. And I still have to work in the morning. So I would love to play more, but we'll have to play more next week. And uh, hopefully next week we can start to get to work on our final build. It'll be the Huntsman Spider. And then we'll finish off Loth, Loth. And then we'll travel through the wormhole. And then we will face our, our arch enemy the insectoids and it's going to be magnificent and then i'm going to do a little create a little animation uh, for the whole thing so anyway guys i hope you're enjoying the season i am and look at him isn't he beautiful look look at him look okay all right have a good night guys take care